With more than 20 million members in over 200 countries, the Seventh-day Adventist church structure can, at times, seem daunting and complicated. Fortunately, we at The Scratch are here to simplify it. Welcome to The Scratch's four-part series on church structure, brought to you by Adventist Learning Community of the North American Division. Our first topic, the five tiers of government. The church operates much like an upside-down pyramid, with the power actually being held at the bottom instead of the top. While decisions made at the top do guide the levels below, most of the authority is technically held at the local church level. So while administrators may have started from the bottom and now they here, each level both empowers and is held accountable to those below. Whenever a house church, church plant, or a mission becomes self-sustainable enough to become a church, it joins this first tier and gets a participation trophy. At the local church level, leadership decisions are guided by a pastor or lay leader on behalf of his or her members. And like any nonprofit company, it has a board of elected members who ultimately decide its direction. Fun fact, the local church's property isn't actually owned by the local church. It's owned by the next tier up, the conference. The conference level is equivalent to your state government, with each conference managing the local churches in its state, province, or territory. Some conferences, like the Georgia Cumberland Conference or regional conferences in the U.S., will cover parts of multiple states. Conference administrators are elected at a conference's constituency session to manage the employment of its teachers and pastors, empower unified mission across the conference, and voice the concerns of the local church to the next tier up, the unions. Each union oversees multiple conferences within a region. For example, the Southern Union would oversee Florida, Georgia Cumberland, Kentucky, Tennessee, Gulf States, and the Carolina conferences. Union representatives are elected in union constituency sessions, and it's at this level where pastoral ordinations are approved. The union level is also where most Adventist colleges and universities partner. This is easy to remember with names like, well, Union College. Join us for part two, where we'll be covering the top tier, the General Conference, and its divisions. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, you'll love our weekly news briefs, where we give you the rundown of all the global Adventist stories in five minutes or less. Sign up at www.thescratchnews.com and like us on social media at Real Scratch News.